Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Father, we ask that you draw us nearer. Draw us nearer to you, Father. For there is nothing we can do, nothing we can accomplish without you. But we are confident that whenever we come to you nearly, we are able to receive the grace, the strength, the power that you have for your children. And so, Lord Jesus, tonight we ask that you draw us nearer to you. Bring us closer to you than ever, Lord. We have left everything to come to you, Jesus. Let your hands be upon us. Let your grace be upon us. Let your fire be upon us. Encircle us tonight with your wall of fire. Mighty Jesus, we recognize our sins. And so we ask for mercy. We ask that you cleanse us with your most precious blood. Wash us clean, Father. Wash us clean. Let the sin not block our prayers from reaching your throne of grace, Holy Father. And so we hand over this prayer to you. We pray that the highway to heaven shall be free so that your angels shall come down and be with your children tonight. Our blessed mother, on a day like this, you visited your cousin Elizabeth and there was a great fellowship. You came to her house and you fellowshiped with her and she fellowshiped with you. We were not on earth when that event happened, that event of visitation. But we believe every account of the script. We believe. We know that you visited your cousin, Elizabeth. And we know that this day, that history shall repeat itself because you are coming to visit your children. You are coming to bless your children. That hour has come. That hour of grace has come. Mama, come and be with your people. We do not have any other mother but you, Holy Mother. Come and stay with us. Come and lead us to Jesus. In Luke 1, verse 26, it is written that in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God to come and visit you. But my, this is also a sixth month for us. And we're asking you, Holy Mother, to pray for us that the angel that visited you in that sixth month will also visit your children in their own sixth month. And so, Mama, we know that since your son Jesus, the King of glory, the King of this ministry, the head of this ministry is here, we also know that the Queen or the ministry cannot be absent. And so, as the king has taken a seat, as he is seated on the throne, <laughs> we ask you, Holy Mother, the Queen Mother, to also be on your on the on the queenly throne, on the queen's throne, minister to your children. Hold us by the hand and give us to Jesus through this message of this night. Let there be an encounter. Let the glory of God come down. Let the glory be felt. Holy Mother, lead us to the glory. The world will not have known the glory of God if not that you give the world God. Help us to discover Jesus today. Help us to encounter Jesus today. Cover us with your mantle. And by the way, you are the queen of, queen of heaven. You have the angels that they call you their queen. There's no way you will be here and the angels will be absent. So we are confident that because you are here, blessed mother, the angels will call you their queen. And who you are their queen, 
that you will make sure that you have to pray for us and to make sure that every prayer is answered. Mama, keep your angels busy. Let them be carrying our prayer point, our prayer petitions to heaven. And let them get answers and bring down to us. It happened to Jacob. Let it happen to your children. Mama, a journey is being planned at Dallas. You are sending the hearts of Jesus and many ministries to Dallas. Because you have sent us, we know that your prayer will lead us to that land. Your prayer will see us through to that land. We know that every ambushing spirit, every lion that has taken ambush to attack us on the way, Mama, we know you're not going to allow it to happen. We know you're a great mother. We cannot quantify the love you have for us, Holy Mother. Such a great love that even God himself began to speak to us through the mouth of the prophet Isaiah. In Isaiah 16, verse 13. Saying that, as a mother loves her child, so do I love you. So even God is referring us to the love of mothers for their children. As a, as an, as, as a token of his love for us. Something to see and imagine his great love. And now that we... Look at you and uh, we conceptualize a great model of love. But then, we also remember Rebecca, a mother. The mother of Jacob. That even when Jacob was not supposed to get a blessing, it was the mother's scheme. It was the mother's ploy, the mother's plan, the mother's intention that blessed him. And even when he was in danger, he didn't know he was in danger. But Rebecca saw that Jacob was going to be in danger. And she sent him to Lebanon for his protection. It was on his way to Leban, to Uncle Leban, that he encountered at Bethel the angels that were descending and ascending, of which he did not even know that where he passed the night at Bethel was the gate of heaven. For so Jacob spoke, I did not know that this place is the house of God, the gate of heaven. But blessed mother, when we see the generosity of the love of Rebecca for her child, Jacob, and how this her child became so blessed that his name became a nation, Israel. That he became an icon of blessing. That all this started. This is all this favor were bestowed on him because of the great love of Rebecca and the blessings of the mother and the blessings of the father, Isaac, went with him. We have every reason, Holy Mother, to believe that if Rebecca would do these things, would be so generous to show such a great love for her child. Jacob. To the point of being extravagantly blessed. So we have every confidence, blessed mother, that you do greater things for us. And by the way, you are the one leading us to Dallas. You are the one praying for us. You are the one sending us there, just like Rebecca sent Jacob. Uncle Leban, you are now sending us to the last. We ask you to protect us on the way. Protect us in the preparatory plan events. Protect us in that in that the whole planning. Let everything go well. Blessed Mother. Intercede for us. Let your intercession lead us through. Let your intercession 
bring the eyes of God to focus on us. As it happened that Jacob, on that mission, because the mother sent him, and he encountered angels, may we sent by you to that venue at Dallas, to that program at Dallas, also encounter angels. And so tonight, Blessed Mother, we have led our minds to you. Carry it out, Holy Mother. May God remember us because of you. Let this ministry that bear your name, this ministry that bears your name, and even the name of your son, never be put to shame. Never be put to shame. As we call on you, we know that the world will know that we do not call on you in vain. Lead your people. Fight for your people. Empower your people. Move the hand of God to bless your children. While Jesus was on earth, he talked about the finger of God. That's the finger that makes the impossible to be possible. We ask that that finger we make the impossible to be possible in this program. Let that finger of God move, blessed mother. Intercede for your children. We also know that in the, in the ancient time, when the, pe the people of God were in Egypt, that God used Moses to deliver God's people in Egypt, a deliverance that could not be completed without the finger of God coming down to do signs and wonders in Egypt. And even when Pharaoh resisted to yield to the demand of God to let his people to be set free and, and let people go, so the finger of God began to smite him and the, smite, and the land was smitten. So we are asking you, Holy Mother, to pray for us to experience this great power of God's finger among us. This finger that does deliverance, the finger of God. We ask that God shall remember your people. Mama, pray for us. Mama, intercede for us. Mama, help us. There is nothing you cannot obtain from God. We ask that you pray for us in an extraordinary way. And this is a minimum we pray through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen and amen. And amen. My dear friends, with the great pleasure tonight, I welcome every one of us to the hearts of Jesus and Mary Ministries. Today, we shall take just a quick reading from the Gospel of Luke, chapter number 23, verse 42 to 43. Luke chapter 23, verse 42 to, 40, to 43. And we shall be reading from the New Revised Standard Version Catholic Edition. Then he said, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. He replied, Truly, I tell you, today you will be remembered. You will be with me in paradise. And this is the gospel of the Lord. Praise be to you, Lord Jesus. Amen. My dear friends, just yesterday, we had a message titled, Remember Me, Remember Me, Lord. Today, we continue with that prayer. We are asking God to remember us. Those who understand the need, the importance of God remembering them. They don't wait for people to remind them to make that prayer. Yesterday's message was focusing was focused on Noah. We saw in Genesis 8 verse 1 that God 
remembered Noah. Before then, the scripture tells us in Genesis 6 verse 8 that Noah found favor before the eyes of God. Some trans- trans- translations will say, and Noah found grace in the eyes of God. My dear people of God, we cannot function effectively without God remembering us. When God does not remember us, there will be no life. There will be no beauty. There will be no grace, no favor. Do you understand that? It will be ugliness everywhere. But you see, when God remembers a man, now, it does not matter the pain he was going through. It doesn't even matter how bad the situation is. The question is, has God remembered him? If he has, that case is settled. Remember the case of Lazarus. That Lazarus was dead and buried. But, you see, on the fourth day, God remembered him. And God came to the tomb of Lazarus and told the people there to roll back the stone. Jesus was ready to do the miracle, to do a miracle, because God had remembered Lazarus, a dead man, though. And we know that even though that Lazarus was stinking, you know, it, 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 it was a terrible mess. He was already decaying. Yet God was able to restore him back to life. He took away the smell, took away the, the bandage, the ties, the, everything that had tied him, whatever thing that had been bringing him to, to a place of stagnation. God took them away. And Lazarus came back to life and was a free man and was living a free life, a normal life. Amen? That is what we are crying for, for God to remember us. If you think your case is so bad, always be assured that, well, my case is not worse than Lazarus. And God remembered him when he was decaying. He was already dead. Therefore, God can do the same thing for me. In today's reading, taken from Luke chapter number 23, verse 42 to 43, we see a thief who was just a few moments away from death. He was already crucified, and he was dying gradually. Okay? He knew that not too long from that moment he would die completely. But this thief made a prayer. While on the cross, he prayed, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. And Jesus answered his prayer, telling him, certainly, I tell you, Today that you will die, you will be with me in paradise. His prayer was answered. My dear friends, the, 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 the Lord remembered this thief called Good Thief because he asked for God to remember him. I have a case to make tonight that if we ask God to remember us, God will. If that prayer comes from the heart, the extent to which I know God, He is faithful to answer every prayer that comes from the heart. He does not fail. He cannot fail His people. He called us into this prayer meeting. And He called us not to fail us, but to bless us. The good thing said, simple prayer point, remember me, Lord, when you come into your kingdom. What of if we remove that kingdom and put, remember me at Dallas. Remember me in this program. 
that you are convening your people. Remember me. Remember me in heaven as you decide the affairs of men on earth. Because as you know very well, the affairs of this world are decided at heaven. That is where the affairs of men are decided. God is king over his creation. And Jesus who told him that, look, you will be with me in paradise. He's also ministering to us tonight same words of promises. My dear people of God, this month is a month of remembrance. It is a blessing for us to see this month, a great blessing to see the month of June. And for us in the ministry, in the house of Jesus and many ministries, it is a month of divine visitation for this ministry. A month to gather and celebrate our Lord. A month when the, the, the eagles will gather at the table of the Lord to celebrate the Lord, to glorify his name. Is God talking to somebody tonight? <laughs> this is the month that is going to happen. A month that God's people will gather from north, south, east, and west to come and celebrate the King of glory, the mighty Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The Bible tells us in Matthew 24, verse 28, that wherever the body is, there the eagles shall be gathered. We are the eagles. The body is Jesus. There at Dallas, we encounter Jesus. We encounter his body. We encounter Jesus, the body of Christ. Right? We encounter him in the Eucharist. I've always said it, and I want to keep repeating this thing so that it will get right inside us. That every time we gather in our program, Jesus comes. I remember uh, when we were at uh, Hastings, the sister was at the kitchen, and Jesus appeared to her there. She saw Jesus' life. And there were these uh, two, two, two siblings who could not control their, 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 themselves, telling me how they saw the fire of God literally around the Eucharist, around the, the Eucharistic Jesus, the Blessed Sacrament exposed at the altar at Hastings. Jesus comes. If we hear in the news now, perhaps in the CNN, that Jesus is coming in a bodily form at Dallas to attend the house of Jesus and many ministries, I'm telling you the whole world will, in fact, the whole plane will be filled up. People will come from every part of the world to come there. But he comes to be with us. To touch us. And so the eagles must gather. Are you an ego? <laughs> you are. You are. The Lord is coming to feed his eagles. To feed them. That's a bird called pelican. That is uh, um, a legendary bird. It, it, it was believed that um, the bird feeds her young ones with her own flesh. But this is a theological picture of Jesus who feeds the church, feeds his people, the eagles, you and I, with his flesh. 
not to give us life. Because if we do not receive him, his flesh, and drink of his blood, we do not even share in his life. That's a very serious statement. So, my dear people of God, since we are blessed, we have found the favor of God, for God to remember us, so we cry to him tonight. We ask him to remember us. That prayer had started yesterday. And that prayer continues. We ask that God remember us in this very program. Let me remind you that when God remembered Noah, as we learn from Genesis chapter 8, verse 1, by the time we get to verse 2, we see, even up to verse 3, that God did not save only Noah. God saved everything that depended on Noah. All the animals, every member of his family. And we are praying now that as we come to this program, let God bless everything that depends on me. Everything that depends on the people coming. Your children. Your workers. Your company. Your source of income. Everything. Your spouse. Whatever that is connected to you. We are going to cry to the Lord to bless them. The fact that God blessed everything that was connected to the life of Noah tells us that God can bless a people because of one person. That's one of the things we have to learn from that, that, that uh, 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 part of the, the, the story of the Bible. We see that God can bless a family because of one man. God can bless a nation because of one man. He can bless a ministry because of one man. You remember the case of Job, right? <laughs> that because of Job, God bless everyone in the family. Everyone in the family. The reason why God blesses the church is because of Jesus. The reason why God blesses us is because of Jesus. If Jesus does not die on the cross of Calvary, God would have wiped the whole world. He would, he, because of sin, he would have just wiped us away. And so as we come to this program, we are crying to the Lord even now. Remember me, Lord. Remember me such that everything that depends on me will not suffer, will be blessed, will be protected, will be sanctified in the name of Jesus. Yes, my Lord, whatever that belongs to me, whatever is connected to my life, everything that has relationship with me, Father, let them be blessed in this program. Yes, my Lord. I'm not asking you only to bless me. I'm asking you, Lord, to bless everything that is connected to my life. Whatever thing that is connected to my life, in the name of Jesus, let somebody begin to pray that prayer. Let somebody begin to pray that prayer. Jesus, Jesus, Papa, remember me. Mighty God, remember me. Remember whatever thing that is connected to my family. Whatever thing that is connected to my destiny, Father, bless them, O oh Lord. Bless them the program. Bless them in the program. In the name of Jesus. Yes, my Lord. Jesus. Let them be blessed. Let them be blessed. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Let the mercy of God locate, locate, locate everything that is connected to my life. Everything that is connected to every person coming to this program. Let such a person be blessed. Let everyone be blessed. King in the name of Jesus. Of yes, my Lord. Father, touch your people. May you lift your people, O Lord. May you lift your people, O Lord. Father, remember my people. Father, remember my people. Every person coming to this program, these are your children. The children of HJM. Father, bless them, O Lord. 
Father, bless them, O Lord, by the power of your name. Father, bless them, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. Bless your people, bless your people. Father, we call upon you. Pray, 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 pray. Remember us, God. Remember our children, God. Remember every person that will come into this Remember, Father, King of Glory, don't forget us, Father. Don't forget us, King of Glory. Don't forget us, how many potent, how many present, how many science, God, don't forget us. Prayer, 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 prayer. Remember us, Father, King of Glory. Remember us, Father, King of Glory. Remember, us, Father, King of glory. Remember, us, Father, King of glory. Remember our children, Father, King of Glory. Remember your people, Father, King of Glory. Father, do not allow whatever the order the correct to my to suffer. In the name of Jesus. Father, use me as a point of contact to bless my family. In this program, use me as a point of contact to bless my family. Use me to solve the problems of my family. Use me to solve the problems of my people. Use me to solve the problems of this ministry. Use me to solve the problems of my children. In the name of Jesus. Father, use me, O Lord, in this very program. In this very program. Father, let my people be blessed. Let my people be blessed. Remember my people. Remember my people. Remember my people. Remember our children. Remember our children. Use those other seconds to remember our people. To remember our family. Both here and our brother. Father, do not forget us. Let my roots be blessed. Let my leaves be blessed. Let my branches be blessed. In the name of Jesus. Father, we ask you that. I am a Prayer, 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 prayer. See yourself as a tree. See yourself as a tree. If you, you see yourself as a tree, a tree will have branches. A tree will have leaves. A tree will have even roots. Pray that as that tree comes to the program, that the leaves shall be blessed, that the branches shall be blessed, that the roots shall be blessed. In the name of Jesus. We shall not lie. Let our roots in the Let our roots in the Let our roots Bless us all. Oh, God. Bless us all. God. Bless us all. God. Bless us all. God. Bless us all. 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 Bless us Remember us, remember our family. Remember our let your power shine upon us. Let your grace shine upon us, God. 
Do not allow us to financially go. We are in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Special Amen. announcement. Thank you, Jesus. I want to tell you a story. The story of a man called Samson. We find his story in Judges chapter 16. A man full of power. And God used him mightily. But a time came when the glory of God departed from Samson. And those he was defeating, began to defeat him. The Philistines took him captive. In fact, in Judges 16 verse 28, we are meant to understand that the Philistines removed his eyes. But in the midst of the, this calamity, something prayed, please, God, remember me one more time. One more time. And the God remembered him. Unfortunately, he prayed that, remember me one more time, that I may revenge. That I may take revenge for at least one more time for what they have done to my eyes. And that I may die with them. And God answered it the way he asked. Something was put to shame. In fact, when Samson, when the power was no more operating in Samson, the power of God left him. Samson became useless. If he was useful, well, it could have been worth just for entertainment. Because his enemies, the first time we are using him for entertainment, he was Samson. When a child of God is not operating under the canopy of the glory, he becomes another Samson. But we know that when the glory came upon Samson, he was restored. Mm-hmm. Anointing came back. Hallelujah. He killed even more people in his last mm-hmm. day, on one single day, mm-hmm. than all the people he killed in his lifetime. Mm-hmm. Anointing yeah. is dangerous. Thank Don't you, play Jesus. with a man that carries this kind of anointing. Thank you, Jesus. Anointing. <laughs> Elijah was warned. The moment you anoint the who run away. Because even though you are the one anointing him, but the anointing, that oil will, will provoke a dangerous anointing that will not respect even the person anointing Jehu. So run for your life. Because that's a killer anointing. My dear people of God, as we are coming to this program, who knows whether, whether you are that something? <laughs> There are some things that will be coming to this program. We are going to pray that all those some things that will come, may their hair grow back. Amen. Amen. Don't take this prayer point very casual. (laughs) So, let the some things come. Let something happen to bring the some things to the program. 
Even this ministry, there are people who have come to our program saying, Let's go and let me just go and see that man that uh, mm, the my wife would be joining his prayer line and putting the thing in speaker, making noise in the house. Let me even see that old man. Some of them came and got converted. Hallelujah. I know one of them that is that is in it as us. Of this ministry. Pray for people. Joining even with the board of directors. He came with a bad head, but by the time he was living, his hair has grown back. Hallelujah. Power began to blow. Hallelujah. Glory began to manifest. Hallelujah. And today, he is not a terrorist to the kingdom of the devil. Hallelujah. Rabbi Kiribamba. Before that time, before this time, <coughs> He may have been going to church, but he was the devil does not consider him a threat. But now he's a threat. Thank you, Jesus. We are asking God, let him bring the Samson's Amen. to this program. That's our prayer point. Let Samson come to this program. We are talking of something that have lost glory. It's something that has been carbonized. When you say that something is burnt, that is not a carbon. It's useless. Jesus. So we are praying, let the glory of God arrest the Samson's. Bring them to this program for their head to grow back. For anointing to grow back. It's something that's not operating as a something is useless. Something is useful. When he's operating and says something. Something that's supposed to be doing deliverance. Casting out demons. Delivering the people of God from the hands of the enemies. But that something is now a captive. How would you call him not a useless man? A something that is not operating as a something. He has a wasted anointing. A wasted life. Because not fulfilling his mission. My dear friends, the case is closed. Can somebody begin to pray now? Okay, and the call of God yes. to bring the Samson's whatever place they are. Let the Samson in my family pass to this God. Let the Samson in my family, in my marriage, in my siblings, let them attend this program. Let them attend this program by the power of Jesus. Let them come to the program. It is the time for their hairs to grow. In the name of Jesus, it is
more something to the top. He thought you need more anointing of something. Maybe you are that something. May your head grow back. May your anointing grow back. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hmm. Something, when he was arrested, when he was a captive in the hands of his enemies, they plucked out his eyes. Something became blind. Before now, Samson could see his enemies and come after them. Now that he has lost his eyes, Samson could not see again. Samson has become blind. Is there a possibility that somebody coming to this program have lost his or her spiritual eyes. He used to see visions. He used to see things in dreams. God used to talk to him. He used to see these things, but no more. We are praying that such some things will have their spiritual eyes restored. Mm-hmm. In the name of Jesus. Mm-hmm. Such mm-hmm. some things some of them are in this ministry. Some of them are going to come as visitors. We are praying that even on ground, may they begin to see visions. Mm-hmm. But this is where prayer is very hot, and nothing is moving. People begin to see visions. People have not seen visions before begin to see visions. And the Bible tells us in Joel 2, verse 28, that on the last day, ah, your young men shall see visions. This is the end time ministry. This is the end time season. So we are praying now that every something that has lost his eyesight, his ears to hear, he, every something that is dumb, may they begin to recover now. May they recover the eyesight in the name of Jesus. May they recover their eardrums in the name of Jesus. May they recover their, their voice in the name of Jesus. May they begin to walk now in the name of Jesus. May they begin to cry in the name of Jesus. Yes, my Lord. Pray now, pray now, pray now. Pray now, pray now, pray now. This very program is a restoration program. This very program is in Jesus' clinic. A place to heal people. A place to have organs restored in the name of Jesus. Yes, my Lord. Pray, 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 pray. That every organ, every organ, spiritual and the physical organ, shall be restored in this very program. In the name of Jesus. Yes, my Lord. Let the Lord remember me. Papa, remember me. Let me begin to see again. Let me begin to hear your voice again. Let me begin to speak your words again. In the name of Jesus. Yes, my Lord. Make this a program. A land of restoration. A land of healing. A land to recover sight. A land to recover ears. By the power of your holy name. Aha! Jesus! Pray, 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 pray. Jesus! Let somebody pray. 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 Let someb
God will answer you. He answered, he answered something according to his own prayer point. He will also answer you according to your own prayer point. Can you begin to pray now? Ask God to avenge for you. Ask God to take over this matter. I don't know what they are going through. I don't know the insults they are going through. I don't know the troubles they are going through. But let God take over. Let God fight this battle. Let God fight this battle. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Jesus. Father, fight for me this program. In this very program, Papa, fight for me. Fight for me. Every household we can Every household wickedness, Papa, fight them to push up. Papa, cripple them. Papa, destroy them. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Papa, destroy them. In the name of Jesus. Lord, fight my battle. Fight my battle. I am giving this matter to you. Lord Jesus, give me victory. In the name of Jesus. Yes, my Lord. Jesus, pray now, pray now, pray now. Papa, remember me. Papa, remember me. In the name of Jesus. Yes, my Lord. Jesus. Pray, 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 pray. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Pray now, pray now, pray now. In the name of Jesus. Yes, my Lord. Papa, remember me, oh Lord. Jesus. Jesus. Lama Kereba. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, Jesus. Amen, man, amen. Thank you, Jesus. Now we don't have much time left. I'm going to take this last prayer point very seriously. You see, still on the same something. I don't even know whether to say that something ended well. Somebody might say, oh, brother, okay, he ended well because he killed more people at his point of death than all his life. And some people say, oh, you know, um, he completed his mission. And some people will say, look at, if he had not suffered all he suffered, he would have been able to revenge, you know, avenge for Israel and uh, fight their battles and uh, live a longer life killing more people. But we know the truth. The truth is that if something did not end up the way it ended up, he would have been able to make more exploits. He would have been able to save Israel. A longer time to save Israel. But we are going to pray to end well. Amen. To finish well. Amen. You see, there are people, they start this journey. This Christian journey is not easy. There are pastors. To, in fact, the other day, someone was telling me of a pastor who is now preaching that Jesus is not Lord. You think that Satan is the Lord. He's not preaching about Jesus. He started well, but he's not ending wrongly. We don't want to end wrongly. We don't want to finish in a bad way. In this program we are planning, so much efforts have been made. The planning committee, God bless them. They are doing so well. Making so much sacrifice. All of us are making so much sacrifice. Look at all the contributions. Look at all the, all of us are making frantic efforts to make this thing work. On the other side, the enemies are planning for us not to finish well. But we are going to decree we shall finish well. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. I must finish well. This the program must finish well. In the name of Jesus. Yes, my Lord. This the program must finish well. The planning committee will finish well. AJM shall finish well. Our heavenly race, we shall finish well. In the name of Jesus, we shall finish well. I will finish well. Jesus. Pray, 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 pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we shall finish well. We shall finish well. Let that grace fall upon somebody. Let that grace fall upon somebody. The grace will finish well. In the name of Jesus, yes, my Lord. 
When God remembers you, you will finish well. Ay, ay, So ask God to remember you. In the name of Jesus. Pray to God, remember me. That I may finish well. So that I will do more at the end than at the beginning. Let my letter yes. My letter anointing, my letter glory. Be greater than before. Let the glory of the, of the house, the glory of God in the house, the latter glory be greater than the former in this ministry, in this program. The glory of God in this program shall be greater than the former. Oh, they must share about it. Yes, my Lord. Thank you, mighty Jesus. Thank you, King of Glory. Whatever place you are now, begin to thank the Lord now. Begin to appreciate Him now. Thank Him for the miracle. Thank Him for answered prayer. Yes, my Lord. I appreciate Him now. Thank Him, thank Him, thank Him, thank Him, thank Him. Father, we thank you. We give you all worship. We give you all adoration. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Thank you, Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Amen. We cover the intercessors with the blood of Jesus. Lord of for the leadership Jesus. in this prayer. May God bless them. Amen. We cover them with favor. Amen. As they are praying for us, may heaven pray for them. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. I will declare no weapon no against them shall prosper. Amen. I cover everyone and all the exploits made this night, all the new grounds that have been captured or recovered or possessed. Mm-hmm. We decree that all are permanent. In Amen. the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. We shall fight and we shall not lose our ground. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, King of Glory. Thank you, Blessed Father. be your name. All the fasting of today, we hand over to you, Lord. Amen. And we cover the fastings with the blood of Jesus. Lord Thank you for answering our prayers. Thank In Jesus' Father. mighty name, we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. 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 Amen.